workout before we're gonna crush a picnic table but we're using a different concept with it so last time we went right into crushing a picnic table right now we're doing like four sets of pull downs we're doing some chain so we're using the concept of working out with our warm-up working hard and then working our butt off okay so it's a workout before the workout we already know we're gonna kick some butt with the picnic table Okay, so this will just get us primed and ready to go. Plus, these guys want to warm, so it gives them time, no pressure to warm up. All right, out. All right, I'm taking a right right here. Road trip. Um, got to make sure you got the essentials. If one person doesn't have music, it kind of messes up the whole thing. So it's kind of nice. I got you know I'm working out with two guys right now who are experienced and they know they brought water and they know they brought their music and so it's nice um, we're gonna crush a picnic table here good stuff all right step-up variation. I'm a little bit sore from another workout, but I still wanted to get some work in, so I'm going to play a little bit smart. I don't want to do any advanced plyometric work. So I'm doing a step-up variation. It's also progression for a pistol squat. I did a couple sets where I was just kind of trying to trying to go through, focus on the negative on the way down, and then come back up. I did two sets of that, and now I'm working on I'm trying to get into the bottom of the motion, take as much weight off of my my uh, accessory foot here and, and put it onto the working leg and really load up the quad here at the bottom and then try to go up as, as uh, controlled as possible and then hit the negative on the way down. Just another way to hit it. I'm just trying to troubleshoot a pistol squat. It's one of those things that I don't have that it's kind of irritating so I'm trying to work towards it. Um, out. Nice 90 degree and I'm trying to take as much pressure off of this leg as possible and load it up on here to the point where I'm almost hovering. And when I feel like I got, you know, it's, it's never going to be 100% on this leg. Otherwise, I'd probably be able to do a pistol squat. But if I can get it, you know, 10, 90%, 5, 95, when I feel that load, then I'm going to come up, make sure I get full extension at the top, lower myself down, and then just reset it. What I'm trying not to do is I'm trying not to push off on this foot here. So as I'm loading up the weight, I'm also going to be uh, dorsiflexing my foot to try to get as much weight on my heel as possible because if I leave it on the ball of my foot then naturally we're gonna have a tendency to toe off a little bit so I'm trying to dorsiflex my foot get that toe up so I'm loading up my my quadricep on my working leg as much as possible oh that's a good point 
That, that dorsiflexion, that's a yeah. good point. I mean about these athletic greens, not a big deal. This thing will cost about 20 to $25. Um, it's got the greens in it, which makes you a little bit more alkalining. Shakeology already has that, but um, I want to take it twice a day. Make sure you're eating the right things. That's how, what makes me recover faster, okay? So taking it twice throughout the day, once through my Shakeology and once through this, that's, that's kind of how I recover a little bit faster than the average person.